Okay, so just recording a really quick video reply to uh, Dopefish, who I'd been watching on YouTube, um, recording a few videos on his Amiga 4000, showing a few old Air Pro Tracker modules that I thought was really cool, actually. I've got to say as well, really nice machine, always kind of been a bit envious of the Amiga 4000. Uh, the machine I've got at the moment is an Amiga 1 PowerPC machine running Amiga OS 4.1. Um, apologies for the handheld shaky video. Um, it's kind of just a quick and dirty reply, really. So what I've been doing this morning is uh, downloading a few classic mod tracks off um, off the Aminet. Uh, I think the entire collection actually have used uh, an FTP client to uh, kind of go through and download all of those. So we'll see where we're at with that. I'll open uh, directory opus down here. And if we find the correct folder, again, apologies for the uh, the handheld video. My tripod is packed away at the moment. Okay, I'll try and talk through what I'm doing. Uh, so in here we've got all of the um, the LHA files that I've downloaded this morning. So if we go through, there is quite a lot of them, a lot of README files in there as well. What we should probably do in that case is um, delete those before we uncompress all of the, the mods. So I'll open a shell up here and uh, we'll find the folder where I saved them in, which was in my work disk. Um, in the audio folder and they're all in there so what we can do is uh, go back into the shell we'll do a batch delete of all of the uh, the readme files and then we'll do a wildcard in there Okay, and that will get rid of all of the um, the text files that are in there, kind of describing what the songs are, really. So uh, that will leave me to be able to uncompress all of the, the archives and then get playing a few modules for you. So all of those done, okay. I'll go back into Dopus. Okay, now we have all of the... Uh, the archives so we can begin uncompressing them okay to let you know I am going to pause the video because as you can tell it might take quite a while we have um, a fair few to an archive I'll be back with you when they finished now in the video Dopefish posted he actually used Hively Tracker which uh, is a native OS4 tracker which will fire up you can uh, look at it very similar um, I think for uh, my demo though I'm going to use Milky Tracker I'm a bit more of a fan of that program so we'll uh, load up that one. Hopefully you're not too uh, <laughs> seasick from the video yet. Right, okay, we need to load our, uh, our module into here. 